the largest star to ever be discovered in the whole universe. The Sun is a rather uninteresting star. Our middle-aged Sun is pleased with its current relatively small size, while it continues to burn down the hydrogen in its core. Despite continuing in this manner for roughly an additional 5 billion years, our star will eventually run out of hydrogen and begin fueling helium deep inside. Within a few hundred million years, this will cause the Sun to swell into a red giant. The prefix super is sometimes the easiest method for astronomers to convey that something is absolutely amazing, just like in the DC Universe. The same is true for Superman and Supergiant stars, which is a suitable classification for UY Scuti, the largest known star in the universe. Welcome to Theory of Science, where latest updates on science and technology are unleashed. Astronomers discovered UY Scuti in 1860. It is a member of the constellation Scutum in our Milky Way galaxy. It is not visible to the unaided eye because it is located in a region of the galaxy where stars are obscured by light from the Milky Way's core. But it has proven to be very, very large and is nearly 10,000 light years from Earth. According to estimates, UI Scuti has a solar radius of 1,700 with a margin of error of roughly 200. This indicates that 5 billion suns could fit inside. Astronomers at the German Bonn Observatory first catalogued UY Scuti in 1860 as part of a star survey. However, later analysis revealed UY Scuti's brightness varies over a period of roughly 740 days, prompting a reclassification as a variable star. Some of these stars exhibit variations in brightness due to causes outside of themselves, such as being obscured by another star or being visible through clouds of gas and dust. However, internal physical changes, including pulsations, occur in intrinsic variables like UI Scuti. In the instance of UI Scuti, the brightness fluctuates because the object is constantly growing and shrinking, making it difficult to take precise measurements of its circumference. However, like all red supergiants, including Betelgeuse, guys, UI Scuti will end its life abruptly. It will fiercely forge ever heavier elements after running out of helium fuel in its core. UI Scuti will eventually begin generating iron if it doesn't expel too much mass during the course of its remaining existence. For stars, producing iron is a death sentence. When a star binds two iron nuclei together, it doesn't produce any energy, unlike when it combines lighter elements. Instead, it absorbs energy from the surrounding space. A star no longer produces enough outward pressure to prevent it from collapsing under its own gravity, which results in a runaway collapse. The final outcome? a strong core collapse, type 2 supernova, that will finally, if only momentarily, allow Earth citizens to see UY Scuti. The orbit of Jupiter around the Sun is smaller than the circumference of UY Scuti. It would take an imaginary object seven hours to circle it if it were to move at the speed of light. If a planet were to orbit Scuti, it would have to be located more than 600 astronomical units away from the enormous Sun. To put 600 astronomical units in perspective, the distance between the Earth and the Sun is approximately 93 million miles. UY Scuti is not the most massive or heavy star despite having a large radius. This distinction belongs to R136A1, a star with a mass of around 300 times that of the Sun but a radius of just about 30 solar radii. UY Scuti has a mass that is only roughly 30 times that of the Sun, but a volume that is far larger. Since UY Scuti doesn't stay static, size comparisons are still more difficult. Scudder emphasized that the star's brilliance varies along with its radius, and the measurement we have right now has a 192 solar radius error margin. Other stars may be able to surpass UY Scuti in the contest for size due to variations in or margins of error in each. In fact, up to 30 stars have radii that are close to or larger than UY Scuti's minimum estimated size, so the giant shouldn't feel too comfortable in its position. The red supergiants WOH G64 in the constellation Dorado and UY Scuti in the constellation Scutum formerly held the record for the biggest star known, but Stevenson 218 has now surpassed both. The estimated radius of WOH G64 is between 1,540 and 1,730 solar radii, which is significantly less than that of S218 and the second place candidate MY Cephei. In the constellation Scutum, you may find Stevenson 218, 
The Polish astronomer Johannes Hevelius gave the constellation its original name, Scutum Sobiascanium, the shield of sober sky, in honor of the Polish king John III Sobokai's victory at the Battle of Vienna in 1684. In fact, this star might theoretically float if you put it in the largest water bath in the universe. In fact, this star might theoretically float if you put it in the largest water bath in the universe. It would also float around in midair like a balloon if you could only locate a park big enough because it is more than a million times thinner than Earth's typical atmosphere at ambient temperature. This star, which has nearly half the amount of the Sun's mass in hydrogen, helium, and heavier elements, is only 35 times as massive as our Sun. The stability of this wolf rayet star is extremely low. It will project extraordinarily strong star winds, giving the appearance of a fuzzy blue sphere without a clear surface. The fastest man-made object, the Juno probe, is 65 times slower than these winds, which move at a blazing 2,600 km a second. It thus loses mass at a rate of 3.211018 kg per second, or on Earth, every 22 days. If R1 if R136A1 were to replace our Sun, it would emit 9 million times as much energy and seem 94,000 times brighter to our eyes. Similar to UY Scuti, Stevenson 218 is in the constellation Scutum, although it is much farther away from the Earth, about 19,000 light years, than UY Scuti. In 2021, Stevenson 218 assumed the title of the largest known star. If the distance of Stevenson 218 is accurate, it means that it measures in at a whopping 2,150 solar radii, which is 10 billion times the volume of our Sun. Its circumference would extend farther than Saturn's orbit around the Sun. An object traveling at the speed of light would take 9 hours to make a complete circuit of the cluster of 26 supergiant stars in the region called Stevenson 2. Stevenson 218 could also become a wolf ray star since it has lost all of its hydrogen and emits around 10 suns worth of material per million years as its core collapses. Depending on their mass, the star's cores can either burst into supernovae or further compress into black holes. The high brilliance of Stevenson 218 is one of the most perplexing aspects of it. Based on the Eddington limit of luminosity, which is around 320,000 times as bright as our sun, it is 440,000 times brighter than the Sun. This quantity was previously believed to be inconceivable. The highest luminosity or brightness a star may acquire while maintaining hydrostatic equilibrium between the inward force of its gravity and the outward force of its radiation is known as the Eddington limit. If the size of UY Scuti were revised, which star would replace it? Here are a few that couldn't seat the monster, which is currently 1,700 times as wide as the Sun. It was originally believed that WOHG 64 was a stunning 3,000 times the width of the Sun in size. Instead, according to more recent studies, it is around 1,504 suns wide, as reported in a 2009 paper published in the Astronomical Journal. It is a red hypergiant star located in the Milky Way satellite galaxy known as the Large Magellanic Cloud. The brightness of WOHG 64 changes just like UY Scuti. According to NASA, Westerland 126 is more than 1,500 times wider than the Sun. According to a 2012 article published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, NML Cygni is 1,639 times wider than the Sun. According to a 2020 article in the journal Astrophysics of Galaxies, KY Cygni is over 1,033 times wider than the Sun. Most recently, VY Canis Majoris was determined to be roughly 1,420 times wider than the Sun in a 2012 study published in the journal Solar and Stellar Astrophysics. Plus, prior to current observations, the size of this red hypergiant star was thought to be 1,800 to 2,200 times that of the Sun. Some publications continue to rank it as the biggest star, though. One issue with stars is that, especially for large stars, mass and physical volume aren't usually correlated. RMC 136A1 wins the Gold Award for the biggest mass, usually abbreviated to R136A1. It also has the largest mass and luminosity of any known star, with a 315 solar mass and an 8.7 million solar brightness. At around 53,000 degrees Kelvin, 94,940 degrees Fahrenheit, or 52,727 degrees Celsius, it is also one of the hottest. R136A1 is just about 30 times the radius of the Sun, but is about 265 times as massive. 
So guys, that's it. Drop your valuable suggestions in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the post notification on. See you next time.